Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today we're going to unbox a Cisco Nexus but maybe not the most common one, at least not in our data centers. This is a 9348GC FXP and that's a copper switch. So you may ask why you have a copper switch in a data center. Well, not all products is 10 gig or 25 gig, so we need to have some gig ports and this is a cheap way to get some gig ports. So let's start. I need a new unboxing knife. It doesn't work with the screw so well. So firstly, well you have the standard stuff, cable, and just make sure to buy the correct cables for your specific data center. I need these cables because I have PDUs and it's two because you have redundant power supplies. And then it's the rack mounting kit. Um, Cisco doesn't have the best rack mounting kit, but well, it has to do. And of course, when you're running Cisco ACI, don't forget your licensing. This costs as much as the switch does. <laughs> so, well, save them. Just save these. And then you do have some, is it in German? No, it's in a lot of different languages. Well, yellow notice boards, end uses agreements, etc., etc. Keep them somewhere. Trash can maybe. And here we do have the TSUs. And the PSUs are, how many watts are they? 350 watts. Yeah, 350 watts. Keep them to the side for now. Two of them. And here we have the, um, the switch, how it's packed. Top rear, I don't know. Here is the ports. This is the back side of it. Sometimes it's good to be two people at this work, but well, it can't have everything. So this is the front of the switch. Here you have 48, 100 and 1 gigabit ports, copper. RG45. Then here in the end you have four 10 gig plus and here you have 40 or 100 gig QSFP. Here we have the back side and we have a console and a management port, USB and this is a SFP for management port. Then you have this note. I actually like this note because here you can put your your asset ID. Then you have three redundant fans. I believe they are 40 millimeters. Normally you're, you are able to pull out one 
to replace it. Normally it complains if you pull out more and threatens to, to shut down. Then in the end you have the power supplies. So the power supplies slides in here. And you have status lights if everything is green. And you have a little button here to pull it out. As always, when it comes to Nexus and bigger switches, you need to consider the airflow. So in this specific uh, setup, the airflow flow is from here, all the way through the switch. And the exhaust air goes out here in the perforated part of the switch. The switch is of course made for double power supplies. And as you can see here, there is no little bump here, so it's just fine with ordinary cables. Thank you for watching, please like and share the video, maybe consider to subscribe. Um, this was the Cisco 9000, the copper edition, and uh, i see you in the next one. Take care, bye.